My name is Craig Sidney. I'm a test manager here in the Delta V Interoperability Test Lab. This lab is one of the largest collections of third-party devices for field bus. It is represent, has representation from 15 manufacturers with 40 unique devices. Part of the reason we do all this testing is we want to verify for you, the customer, that we have a high level of interoperability with our system. Let's take a moment and go through the uh, devices that are represented here. We have a variety of manufacturers from Crone, Samson, Honeywell, Yokogawa, FlowServe, Rotorque, Topworks, Foxboro, all have devices here that we use on a routine basis and that we have connected up to our, our uh, system. Let me take a little moment uh, and explain to you some of the testing that we do. All these devices have been registered through the Field Bus Foundation. The Foundation does static testing. That is, they take the device one at a time and connect them up to the test systems there at the Foundation to verify on a functional basis that the device works correctly. Here, we go the, take the next step, and that is we connect multiple devices from various vendors together, hook it up to Delta V, and take it through a series of stress tests. Stress tests include fully loaded segments, 16 devices, noise injection, as well as uh, power cycling and other types of more stress type uh, functionality. Our focus is make sure that devices have solid communications and correctly interoperate with the host. For our demonstration today, we have a fully loaded segment set up here. We have multiple uh, vendors represented on this segment. We have vendors from Yokogawa, Anderson Hauser, Burkhart Weir, Flowserve, as well as Fisher Controls and Rosemont. We have 16 devices on this segment with all the links fully loaded. We also have SMAR included back here. We're taking a sine wave that is being generated by this uh, generator and running it into the SMAR, which is converting it into a field bus signal. That is being published on the bus to one of these devices that has a PID and then is being published to this device, which has the analog output block. As you can see, we are running a sine wave through the system. Let's take a closer look at Delta V and see its representation of the segment that we were looking at before. Here on the system, you see all the devices that we've been discussing all connected up in a single segment. If I look at the control strategy, we have the AI block in the SMAR device, the PID in another device, and the AO in the FlowServe device. We then take a look at the graph and you'll see that the input signal and the output signal is going through the system showing that this is a live segment. Okay, let's go back to the Explorer for just a moment. If we come up to our library of field bus devices. Here's a list of devices that have already been tested with Delta V and have been included on the CD. As you can see, there's 15 manufacturers here. One of these, Anderson Hauser, had a device that we had used when we passed the host interoperability system test. There's many other devices. All these devices have been included on the CD and are in are available for your use when you load the software in the system. The advantage of the library allows you to merely connect a Delta V or a Foundation Field Bus device to your host and then commission it. Of course, there'll always be new devices that come out after you've received your host system. In that case, you can go to our website, www.easydeltav.com at the slash FDA, which is our field bus device assistant, and get new devices, new device support files from there. Those can then be imported into our system. Of course, you may always choose to use any device from manufacturers that we've not had a chance to work with and have tested. 
or is not included in the library. In that case, you can go to the manufacturer or to the Field Bus Foundation and get their support files, which are their DDs and CFF files. Those files can be added into Delta V using our device add utility, as shown here. Once you've done that, those devices will then be in imported into the system and you'll now be able to commission that device. Well, thank you. I hope you've seen our level of commitment for interoperability with Foundation Field Bus. This allows you, the customer, to select the devices from various manufacturers that best fit your application.